need a relationship with the Holy Spirit. I don't care that pastor pastors me and shares a, a beautiful word. I'm going back to go study to show myself approved to God and rightly divide the word of truth. Most of y'all don't even study the Bible. I'm going to tell you that. There's like a poll out there that 50% of us, more than 50% of y'all don't even study your word. You heard it from the podcast, the preacher, the prophet, the player, <laughs> the pulpit, and that's your final confirmation. You need Holy Spirit confirmation. How many of y'all actually study to show yourself approved? You're scrolling on Instagram and Facebook, but are you scrolling in the living word of God? And you got to be real. Oh, no, I study my Bible, bro. bro and, I, I, and there's a difference between studying it and reading it in Jesus' name. To study your sh to your sh show yourself a proof. In Galatians 5, as we're studying this, it says this. It says that the works of the flesh are evident. And in verse 20, it says it, idolatry. And the second word is what? Witchcraft. Witchcraft. That's in the King James Version. In the New King James Version, it says idolatry. This is Galatians 5.20. Go read it idolatry, and it says sorcery. So in New King James, it says sorcery, but in King James, it says witchcraft. Brother RC, which one is it? Which one is it? And I looked deeper into it, and I looked at the Greek word of witchcraft. It comes from the Greek word pharmakeia. And if you guys look at pharmakeia, it has the word pharmacy, pharmaceutical, okay? So sorcery and witchcraft is used in these translations, but if you go deeper into it, the Greek word that they're using for sorcery and witchcraft, which to me, this is why I'm saying I'm rebuking the witchcraft and sorceries. Yes, they can operate in different ways. It brings confusion. It brings deception. It brings lies. It tries to puff up and tickle people's ears. Okay, this is what the enemy does. But it gets deeper to the word pharmakia, and it's the use or the administering of drugs. Okay, so anyone that says, well, I'm using, you know, weed for this, cannabis for this, what, whatever. Whatever, okay? I'll, I'll do a, no, a whole nother study on that. But the word goes to Greek, which means poisoning. It means sorcery. It means magical arts. And it's often found in connection with idolatry. It is a metaphor for the deceptions and the seductions of idolatry. Woo! <laughs> I'm telling you, this is the Bible. If you believe the Bible, this will make sense for you. Because this is not my own own ways. This is not my own teaching. This is not my own doing. Any form of those pharmaceutical drugs. Now, we can go a little, a little bit deeper. I get it. There's people that have to use painkillers because, yes, I get it. Your arm gets chopped off and it hurts and they have to put painkillers, right? I, I see that. I, I, I see why. But any other way that I'm telling y'all, it brings idolatry. It, it's always the intention behind it. If, if sorcery or witchcraft in Galatians chapter 5 is the same word, but if you go back to the Greek of pharmakia, it's the use and administering of drugs, it goes back and it ranks down to idolatry. So anyone's asked, how about sage, brother RC? How about yoga, brother RC? How, how about the Ouija board? How about the, the, uh, the, the zodiac signs? If it links and it's found to idolizing anything that tries to go above God's word, not trying to fit your agenda into God's word because that's what people do nowadays. Oh, well, the stars and the suns and the moons are in God's word, so it must be from God. Yes, God created it, but when you form an identity around your zodiac, your identity is not found in a moon sign or the second sign or the third eye or astral projection. Your identity, Bible is very clear, is found in the image of God, Genesis 1. Your, uh, your identity is found in Jesus Christ alone. Anything outside of that, you allow that thing to become an idol. It should be plain and simple, but people want to continue to drive into semantics and, and, and really deep, d dive deep into it. Now, we've exposed and we're rebuking the spirit of witchcraft, the, the, the spirit of divination, the spirit of fortune telling. Fortune telling can also operate with the spirit of Python, which is the same way as, as, as divination. Okay. It's a spirit of divination in Acts 16. That's a whole nother study, which in, in Greek, it just means puthon, which is the spirit of python. And they operate using a form of fortune telling because that spirit of divination 
used the way of fortune telling in the marketplace to deceive people. It's a whole nother revelation there. I want to focus on witchcraft and sorcery today, but people need to get deeper when people are operating in the demonic and people that call themselves Christian, people that say God, ver God first in their bio, people that are at the front of the altar praising God and raising their hallelujah, speaking in tongues that I don't even know if it's demonic or it's heavenly, and then they're ministering people in, in, in the spirit of fortune telling and divination right after service. This is what we're exposing and we're rebuking. They come in the name of God. They come in the name of Jesus, having a form of godliness, but denying the power of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying a power of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying a power of God. Meaning, I'm going to use the name of the Lord, but I'm denying my obedience to Christ. I'm denying the power of what God is supposed to use in me. Because when you're operating out of fortune telling and using the name of Jesus, it brings confusion over the people you're laying hands with. That's why I don't just let anybody just pray over me, lay hands over me. Because having a form of godliness, but denying the power of God, this is a deeper revelation than what most see. I love y'all. Be blessed in Jesus' name.